convicted of committing a serious crime. You know, we didn't do it. There's a misunderstanding. You're being sent to a special type of prison, one that's designed for violent or disruptive criminals. The rest of your life will be spent in a maximum security prison. What's so different about serving time here compared to jail? This is your body on life in a maximum security prison. If you've been sent to a maximum security prison, you're considered the worst of the worst. They can be home to some of the most violent and depraved inmates in the system. What, what the hell are you in here for? Stealing flowers? What to do, steal some candy from the Girl Scouts? What dangers do you have to watch out for? And what will it do to your physical and mental health? Morning. Your day starts at 5 a.m. when you wake up in your small cell. Breakfast starts at 5.15 a.m., so you have to get moving. The mess hall is a dangerous place as the officer to prisoner ratio is low. Every inmate is here, so there's a greater chance of interactions leading to conflict. I will cut you! I will cut you! Mind your own business and keep to yourself. Even socializing with the wrong prisoner could bring unwanted attention to you from the guards. The last thing you want to do is have the guards against you. Positive reviews from them could help at disciplinary hearings and could also improve your quality of life. Personal hygiene. It's shower and toilet time. There is absolutely no privacy here and it smells of sweat and poop. You walk in and you hear shouting. It's 300 people in an area meant for 100. And the guards watching you may be of the opposite sex and might make offensive remarks. You are completely vulnerable here and you could be assaulted physically or sexually. And it all plays on your mental state. Work. Okay, it's 6 a.m., time for work. Five days a week, eight hours a day, you're working to pay for services within the prison, like more time on the phone with family and friends. It will also help you pay off your debts and legal fees. You might work in the kitchen, doing laundry, or if you're lucky, repairing equipment. As in the outside world, the better your job, the more you'll get paid. For these, you might get $150 compared to the average $45. Lunchtime. Okay, it's back to the mess hall for lunch. Keep your head down and watch your back. After lunch, it's time for exercise. Being outside feels good. I feel terrific. Some fresh air and sunlight are great for your mental health. Your physical health is important as well. You can play some basketball or go for a short run. If exercise isn't your thing, there are plenty of activities to do indoors, like reading or learning a new language. Muy bueno. Dinner time. Five o'clock, dinner time. You don't have a lot of choice in what you eat and the monotony may play on your nerves. You could have chicken liver with some veggies or cold hot dogs with onion and beans. Ugh, who knows? That mystery meat might even be better. After dinner, you can write or call family. You could also attend an outreach program, take a class, or take some leisure time for yourself. Whatever you do, you've only got a couple of hours because it's lights out at 10. Prison of the mind. In the United States, 55% of male and 73% of female inmates suffer from mental health issues. But it could be worse. You could be in solitary confinement. 
There, you'll spend 23 hours every day locked in a 2 meter by 4 meter cell with a concrete bed. You might have a small window to let in light, but it's too high for you to see out of. You'll interact with no one except the guard who passes you food through a slot in your door. Open this door! Three quarters of all isolated prisoners report symptoms of psychosis, like hallucinations. Researchers have found that the stress caused by confinement can actually shrink parts of your brain. This includes the areas responsible for memory, emotions, and spatial orientation. Life in a maximum security prison is extremely difficult, both physically and mentally. Not to mention how dangerous it can be if you cross the wrong person. Your best bet to survive in a maximum security prison is to do what you can to keep your mind sharp and your body strong. Maybe virtual reality will keep you sane during your sentence. Well, we'll find out on another episode of Your Body On.